Got everything hooked back up. Here as you can see, I have all the batteries connected in parallel once again. Uh, they all measured out at 13.68 volts after sitting for 24 hours. So they're actually all connected up now. The inverter hooked up. Actually have it running right now. Have this little uh, space heater, 1500 watt, running on uh, high. See what the power meter is showing right there. So solar input. Kind of a glare on it. But uh, yeah, everything's running. I'm gonna run this for a while, just see what it does really. Um, it's pulls the battery down. This isn't super accurate. If I were to shut that heater off, I would jump back up to probably 13.2 or 3 volts. So, but yeah, I'm just going to let it run for a while. See what it does. 1500 watts should last quite a little while. This uh, battery bank set up 200 amp hour per battery. So. Got what are these? I don't have a whole lot of solar coming in right now. Solar panels are in the sun, so. Okay, well, we'll let this little heater run for a while and uh, see how things look. Sand, inverter sand about 1.4 kilowatts. So it's putting a load on her. But inverter's fan hasn't kicked in yet or anything. Nothing's hot. No connections are warm. I think it's just slightly warm there just a little bit but not really hot these are actual cold okay well we'll let her run check back okay it's been running about 10 minutes holding strong 13 volts saying 25 amp hours 30, 335 watt hours. So pull in eh, about 3 amps, 16 volts solar array. This little uh, space heater still running strong. Hasn't really phased the batteries much, which I'd hoped it wouldn't. I'd have been a little disappointed if it had, but uh, everything's doing pretty well. Uh, it's just this one. Let's see if I can do this here. About 86 degrees on that one terminal there, which isn't terrible, but the rest are 70 something, so they're pretty cool. I think it's about that temperature outside today so it's good to see that things aren't heating up so yeah all in all doing pretty good I would like to convert this to a 48 volt system well, at least 24 volt um, but I have a 12 volt inverter so I'm kind of stuck with this for now I guess but yeah, seems to be holding strong, so we'll keep testing, playing around with it. I think I'll hook up one of my little <clears throat> mini fridges and maybe the freezer to it and see. First, I really want to recharge these batteries on <clears throat> solar again and uh, make sure they charge back up like they're supposed to. So we'll uh, post a follow-up on that once I do. Thanks.